Well, for more on this first ever virtual World Health Assembly, we can speak now to Marco Vicenzino, the director of the Global Strategy Project. He joins us now from Miami, Florida. Thank you very much for being with us. Now, at the earliest opportunity, the WHO has promised to get to the bottom of its handling of this pandemic. The director general has stressed that the WHO sounded the alarm bell early and often. But just how much of a challenge has the WHO set itself? Uh, an enormous challenge and a lot of the criticism of the WHO and a lot of the questioning of the WHO goes back to the very beginning when this pandemic and this outbreak began. Uh, there needs to be a great China was to the source of the outbreak and in my opinion needs to be uh, it needs to give clear answers, greater transparency, greater accountability as does the WHO. 122 members of the WHO demanded an investigation into exactly what happened. And it was due to this pressure that right now you see uh, Xi, President Xi of China, uh, in his speech, he called, he also called for such a review. But once again, he's emphasizing after when after the, the pandemic uh, subsides. When that happens, no one knows. But so although in principle they may agree, they have, they've submitted to the pressure in principle, but in terms of action, as far as that's concerned, there still remains many questions. Now, China has, though, today pledged $2 billion over the next two years to help manage the effects of the virus, especially in developing countries. The epicenter country says that it has acted with, quote, transparency and responsibility. Uh, that's the it's complete opposite. The this entire process became politicized from the very beginning when a, a, a state, the lessons don't come from China. I mean, China was trying to sell the narrative that this was basically the, the superiority of a one-party system that contained the virus. Actually, what happened is that it, it from the very beginning, it repressed uh, those who tried to cover up through repression, and then it tried to contain it through greater repression. The real lessons here don't come from the People's Republic of China. It comes from the Republic of China, i.e. Taiwan. Taiwan knew very early on what was going on. There was something happening. There was some kind of pandemic. There was virus. And early in January, they were already taking the measures necessary to, uh, to deal with this. And as a result, Taiwan has had no lockdown. It's had seven deaths and less than 500 infections. But due to politics, when, when Taiwan tried to warn the World Health Organization, the World Health Organization rejected it because of the rec no recognition of, chi of Taiwan policy that was being pushed by the, part of the Chinese Communist Party. So as a result, precious times were lost and, and precious lives were lost and many lessons that needs to be learned from that. And particularly at the higher levels of the WHO, they have to learn not to politicize this and they need to be inclusive. Even if, if Taiwan, that may be nation, recognized as a nation state, it needs to have its observer status and it's played a very, very important role in this. So I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of answers to be given by many, many people, not just China, but the WHO itself. OK, uh, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Marco Vicenzino, the director of the Global Strategy Project. That's all we have time for. Thank you very much.